Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome to what is more or less the giant eastward flanking move. Today's objectives are to seize the Gypsum 1 crossing and the Gypsum 2 uh, sector, along with possible exploitations towards Amber 3, to facilitate the encirclement of Rakitno uh, in support of elements on the western flank. To this end, two platoons will assault the Gypsum 1 uh, crossing. Which one? Uh, third platoon of First Company, commanded by Trutzel Jasper, will assault these two crossings, seize and hold the, extra, the uh, bank across there, covered by. Uh, what's his name? Rudel Titbout's platoon, headed by. Um, with the company under Genzel Tom. Um, Huber and the other platoons will hold their positions with martyr support and possible JU 88s. This will be the deployment for the morning. Let us see what daylight awaits us. So we'll be starting off. Um, these men will, of course, have their trenches dug and all that. It's a beautiful sunlit day. Go ahead and give these men their initial orders to attack. Um, we'll attack this way, and we'll we'll um, seize that crossing. Panzer twos are in support of this operation. A lot of Panzer twos, which means that we've we've got the twenty millimeter cannons. Uh, and all that. So they're pretty nifty, actually. Um, everyone else is just kind of hanging around. They're moderately dug in. We could call for air support, though I doubt we'll need it right now. Um, some fair points to do, though, would be to set up our artillery points of reference in case we meet anyone in the village there won't be a village anymore and for con for those pesky contacts in the wood line just dewoodify it All right. now I don't remember if I told these gentlemen to attack or not so we'll just go ahead and issue them an attack order this way with their trusty lieutenant Oop. Attacking that way. All right. Yeah, it looks like I did give that to them. All right. And everyone else will just cover and will wheel about this axis. Who's that? You? No, you'll um attack this way and maneuver up here and Vivich um, Niels will. His his job was to secure this crossing over here. important but because there's a lot less of it we'll send uh, send two Panzer twos with him just in case also I turned everything down by 50% so it should be much much better Contact, heavy enemy contact from just immediately present. Um, seems the Ruskies have left a little surprise here for us. All tanks are ordered to halt immediately.
Meanwhile, that cannot be allowed to exist. So it looks like we'll be getting engaged a little bit earlier than we thought we would be by some Russians still on this side of the river. Rather surprisingly, actually. I didn't expect to see them this early. Panzer twos are kind of cute, to be honest. Like, I get it. German death machine. At the same time. So tiny. You can only fit like three people in them. Anyway. Maybe we got like a dozen of these things. get something done. Morning, gentlemen. Just going to camp out on top of the church. It must be a half track. It has to be a half track. Yes, I believe this gun crew picked a very poor spot for their um Yeah. It sounds like a to be honest, I don't know what that sound is. It sounds like it should be a tank, but that's only because I've never heard these tanks fire before. We've already got some men up there clearing it out. Once we've cleared that out, we'll push up this way. We could call some preparatory artillery. Alright, number two, time to just put one, call support. And we'll just get a small barrage along there. Kind of a just in case barrage. We'll have these guys uh, attack from that direction. Meanwhile, these guys can keep attacking in that direction. There we go. The artillery should be coming down any second now. And uh, we won't be pushing here unless there's a definite Russian withdrawal from the city, in which case then it'll be more to reinforce or pursue. But over here we've got a relatively calm morning after the uh, events of last night. Still very fresh on the road. And in Russian mines I assume as well. First shot should be landing soon. Three minutes till fire. Apparently. It's I don't want to commit my panzers to anything just yet. Ah, I hear the distant thud of artillery shells. Hmm. 
honest, they probably would have shot at us by now. Still. It'll be nice to put a few into the wood line. If anything, it'll reassure the boys. There's one shot. Damn near a miss. You can see over here, right? Yes? I will march them. Let's get a look at this brave Russian gun crew. Cut down. Tend to try and find a good way to follow the leader in one of the strangest games to follow the leader ever invented. And then are out for their morning exercise, running around in circles. That's convenient. Go right to the battle. Just in case the tanks sink in the fuel. Forward, not the fuel. There's a difference, I believe. If anything, this will provide good cover. There's, there's no one there. That was a proper waste of shells. Everyone just stop. We're all gonna cross the bloody bridge anyway. Let's just get up. Rest of the squad. Range. The squad curiously seems to have 
dismounted to run for this crossing because this one's not good enough. Fuck the cost of all right? Jesus. They seem torn as to how to do it. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and attack across the river. These gentlemen will march across the river. Come on, river man. No, this is a bit of a river. It's just a mobilized and a shell. One of the very few present on the battlefield. Easily avoided by just not letting it. I hope I just going very fast, really. I mean, speed itself would get you close. Gentlemen, could you, uh, consult this objective? A bit more, um, no, don't, don't let anybody leave. Alright, I suppose it's fine, really. It's just a river crossing. It's not like those would be dangerous at all. So, um... I'm not too sure about this squad. The tanks are doing alright. I suppose they're afraid they'd sink. That's alright. I can understand that fear. They seem pretty fucking dense. Boom has just crossed it without issue. They're doing so much better than when I played my Pavlovka campaign. I didn't do that on camera, but they're doing so much better. I lost like seven vehicles to these fields because they all just got on there and like, we're gonna drive off into the river. They'll drive over here and sink, they'll drive over there and sink. They're just a, a giant gaggle of idiots, really. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot any, any of those. Alright, you guys are good to try not to crash or anything. Actually, we have one tank too many over here anyway. We might as well send Fleiss. Fleiss? Fleiss? Fleiss. You guys are pretty fucking incompetent, aren't you? Achtung, der Feind! No, you're just stupid. Alright. I can tolerate stupid. There, we'll bring these guys over with Vinge. Since we've secured this area. Hell, they might even scout ahead since they've been such a pain in my ass. Go ahead and move uh, this one I don't know, deeper over here, I guess. And you, you just, uh, yeah. How do you feel being that dumb? You're getting a unified move order. That'll put you all into a nice, pretty little column. 
that won't run into itself as it tries to cross the fucking bridge. And did you guys... There's some kind of basic training they need to pass or something before they just get handed their Panzer Commando. You know, leaflets, pamphlets, possibly wings. The Panzer wings. Do you guys even have anything useful to contribute? One of you guys has an MP40, that's pretty nice. You all just hang out over here. Uh, it's, it's no, oh, we didn't need you for anything anyway. It's, it's fine. Guys, get the fuck on the tank. Like, is there is there a reason you all are being so okay? What about everyone else? Everyone else is fine. Just you guys. <sighs> Whatever. Close enough. Y'all are gonna go scouting. Well, both of y'all are going to go scouting. So enjoy your game. That's what it's like. It's fun, but sweet Jesus, is the AI just sometimes ridiculously stupid? I don't mean this in like a, they're making mistakes and they won't shoot the enemy because the enemy should be back to I mean, we've lost three tanks to our own shell fire, and it's not even fucking firing. They drove in the holes and broke them. And I get it's common. I get it's a re kind of a common thing to have tanks break down. But to drive across the river into a shell hole that you literally just created, I feel like someone would mention in the fucking briefing. There's gonna be artillery fire, guys, so, you know, don't drive in the holes. Don't knock your tank over sideways. Then again, I guess these people were smart, but these fucking rocket scientists, wouldn't they, Berber? Yeah. How's that degree working for you now? Yeah. I'll just do recon the old-fashioned way. By pushing all the men towards it. Just fucking stop. You, 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 you. We're all gonna march over here. Make sure you guys all dismount and just catch up with the rest of you guys. Fuck it, all of you guys just attack his unified force. I'm done trying to get this whole, like, multiple unit thing working right. They're all idiots. They deserve whatever they get. Getting tanks on this side of the uh, river is pretty great. Oh no, they're gonna do something stupid. You guys just hang out over there. 
You and you just don't. I'll have them all turn around. We'll, we'll, we'll utilize this as like a staging post so they don't go and get themselves killed until we find something worth shooting at. I don't know. Anything really at this point. Watch these guys over here, and they'll make a push to the west, secure our flank, uh, in towards East Rakitno. I suspect that's where the main enemy force will be encountered. Yeah, there's not much to encounter right here. Yeah, that makes sense. These gents would be doing that. Mmm. you guys. That would be the giant line of troops trying to march. I think very good. You think they'd have marching drills or something? Oh, are they gonna take a road? I don't even need them to go that fast. They're just dolts. And so far we've managed to, in the one combat we've encountered, lose I think one man to enemy fire. And um... What? Two tanks? driving accidents. I swear. <sighs> Still, we haven't just immediately seized the point, which means maybe someone's around? Which means we maybe get to use our tanks. Which they'll actually function now that there's no giant shell holes. I cannot believe Verper drove directly into a shell hole, though. And not only did he like to drive into it and get himself stuck, he drove into it and was like, this thing's broken. We can't function anymore. He's got a full tank of gas and everything. He's got tons of ammunition. Well, yes, it did. Never fired a shot. Just broke his stupid tank. Go back to whatever kind of primary school we have. Learn to count, learn to drive. That would be gypsum too. Liebricht, congratulations, you've volunteered. You're gonna go secure our far flank. And we'll send a tank over here to double check and make sure we haven't missed anything. Like, say, a super free point. Because I'll take super free points. And he's definitely the lowest in the pecking of this I found the scout tank. Go scout tank. Oh, oh it looks like you guys are trying to jump over to the wrong side of the road. Hold on. You know what? You're close enough to lowest rank. You go in this one.
just gotta be like, for fuck's sake, man, I can't do much more than tell you to go straight down the road. so they don't have anti-tank weapons. So, I mean, like, literally anything with more than an inch of steel is... You know, inch of steel is pretty good. That would be... Yep. There's literally no one over here. Alright, cool. You can join the, uh... You can join the revolution over here. By revolution, I mean the new world order. Over here. So basically secured this entire flank. That flank's taken. Awesome. Ebrick, do you get the hell back over here? Well, we've taken everything we really wanted to. So yeah, I'll go ahead and agree to that ceasefire, because there's not much more to it, to be honest. Besides the direct assault on the city, which uh, I still don't think we're prepared, pre prepared for. And even if we were, it would be kind of boring to just take the city like that. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next battle. Until then, gentlemen. Actually, now let's 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 take a gander and all the stupid shit we lost. First of all, yeah, there's no one over here. This stuff's all mine, all mine. All right. Okay, and the only Russians are here at the river crossing. Got it. So the Russians are expecting us to come. And that makes sense. So we've basically taken the town. All right, cool. Is it kind of cheatsy? Yeah, but then again, the Russians don't really have anyone there. So whatever. We'll take the town maybe next battle. But then again, I know there's tanks in the area, so there really should be more forces there to oppose us. Whatever. We took one casualty. We wounded, got three guys wounded. Lost six guys. Damn shame. Oh well. Well, I mean, we lost one guy. They lost five. What does that six or five mean? I've never understood. Anyway. Uh, I'll see you all in the next battle. Kind of a boring episode, this one, really. Anyway, till next time.